Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another day of vlogging with EVS Most. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join the EVS crew aid. Yo, today's a nice day. It looks good. It's all nice and shiny outside. So let's see what today has in store for us. This video is brought to you by Boston Wheels. And if you don't know about Boston, they make one of the coolest freaking wheels out there. From cast to hybrid forged to fully forged wheels. The design language is super clean. So if that's what you're looking for, hit me up. I'll take care of you because you're now part of the family. Hey. Do you hear that, Will? Yeah. Hmm? Guys, we have crickets. We're back at it again, Will. Don't be like that, man. Who the f*** is this dude? Careful, I can make you look bad. I should rephrase that, I'm the one that makes you look good. No, I don't give a f*** about that. You can call me Savage Willie. Remember that. All right, guys. Tip of the day today. Just a tip. Just a tip. Just a tip. With me. Whenever you're removing polish residue, use a high pile microfiber because it makes it easier to wipe. You're going to get a phone or you're trying to hide it. Thanks, Will. That was good. What? Okay, so in all seriousness, what we're doing with this Tesla is we're right now in the polishing phase. So we got done with the tint, as you can see. It's a little bit dark in the front, too. And look at the front windshield. As you can tell, it's still clear. You can still see in, see out, no issues. But now this whole thing is going to block so much heat. It's going to be awesome. It's going to feel a lot more comfortable now than it was ever before. If you have a Model X, you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to get the front windshield tinted. It is so important, especially if you're in Houston. Guys, just trust me on this. Just trust me. Trust me. I've never let... Look, we've built a relationship for the past three, four vlogs or so. Have I ever let you down? No. That's right. So just trust me on this. Trust me. I got you. Guys, look what we just got in. This is so cool. Yo, I love this color. This is so nice. I've seen this online before, but I'm now seeing it for the first time in person. And this color is sick, guys. It's like this, it's like this honey mustard, but a little bit more bronze and goldish color. Oh yeah, it's definitely more bronze and goldish. Not honey mustard, but like a little bit darker. It is so sick. It looks so good in person. The camera is, uh, I'd, I'd say it's a little bit darker than what you see on camera from what I'm telling, what I can tell on the screen. So this is the new Audi Q7. Oh, look at that. God, oh, look at that grill. Oh, it's so aggressive. Oh, oh. I love it. Guys, look, you got this panel black dash in the middle, touch screen up top, touch screen on the bottom. This kind of, this setup reminds me sort of like the, um, the Lamborghini Urus. I like how they did the AC vents too. It's so seamless how they did it. It's very clean. Kind of reminds me of the Model 3 in a way where it's just like a bar that goes across almost into that part. Good amount of seats in the back. Nice. Wait, why do I care? I don't have kids. Wait a minute. Am I maturing? No. No. Sean, is that you? Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't go in the lid. <laughs> so we're doing a Blackview install on this Q7. Uh, basically what that is, if you guys don't know, a Blackview is a dash camera. It's a system where it has two cameras. I mentioned this before, but in case you forgot, you're new here. Let me refresh your memory. It's two cameras, front and rear. The cool thing about it is it's always on when you're driving. So if anything were to happen, a car accident, a break in, you know, drive by. <laughs> Because you know you never know what's gonna happen out there in the street. But don't worry, we got you taken care of. You know why? Because you're part of the EVS crew now. Hey, hit the subscribe button. Eight. Day three of this car, guys. So so far we have the front bumper pretty much done. We just gotta do some touch-ups. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then. Remember, we're using no glue, so there's no extra adhesive on any of this. So it's literally just the vinyl. Nice. So what Sean just mentioned is that some installers actually use glue on your paint and the vinyl to create this super adhesive tack, right? But the problem is that when it comes to removing, it always comes out messy and it could be problematic in the future. So even though our method takes a little bit longer, there's no glue being used. So it's just the film on the paint. So that means that we gotta spend a little bit more time to make sure it lays down. But this also means that your paint preservation is on point 
And if you ever had to remove it because you're tired of it, you just want to change it up, whatever, it won't be a problem for you like glue would if it was on your paint, so. It's all in the details. It's low and steady wins the race. Trying to be the tortoise, not the hare over here. All right, so we got this bottom piece done already. As you can tell, we already put the forced iron piece back on, so it looks nice and OEM, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, you see my reflection. What am I doing? I'm holding my crotch, oh, I guess not. Just in time. Time for what? For the tip of the day. Just the tip, just the tip, just the tip with me. Well, I left you here for about a good hour. What you got for me? I finished. So now the next part is to foam the car. Stay tuned. Pow! Did it work? Hey, Will, so we, we never discussed this, but like, what are your thoughts on what Tyler said about you? About your hair, about your shoes, about your shirt? <laughs> All right guys, so I have a bunch of these four play wheels. I'm unboxing for you. Only problem is I don't have a blade to cut this open. How are you doing over there? Are you doing good? You ripping yeah. through? Oh yeah, me too over here. All right guys, so I thought it'd be cool if I did this unboxing here on a pallet because why not, right? We did all the other wheels on our table. It was nice and clean, but this is a truck wheel. It's a truck wheel, so I want to do it on a pallet just because I thought maybe it looks kind of construction-y or something. But anyways, guys, we have an unboxing for you. It's a four-play wheel, so if you don't know about four-play, four-play is a truck brand. They specialize, obviously, in truck wheels. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is a 4P08 wheel. All right, come closer, Anthony. Come closer. Let's see what's inside. Four-play. All right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So we got a box for your four Yo. This is always a good thing, guys. If you're a wheel manufacturer, please make sure you guys have this. This is so important. I know it doesn't seem like much, but wheels get damaged all the time, so having this is so important, guys. So thank you, Foreplay, for doing this. All right, so we have a nice saw. This is Foreplay on there. I like these. These are cool. This is, this is a nice one. Come in, come in. Feel, feel for the audience, Anthony. Ooh. Feel for the audience. Yes. It feels good, right? It's yes. not that crappy, thin, Fabric. This is nice. This is a nice quality saw. Yeah, dude. Are you ready for the unveil? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's see it. Oh, damn it, more, damn plastic. It, more plastic. Guys, look at the concavity of this wheel. Can you guys tell? You probably can't tell. Oh, now yeah, you I can, can tell. Look, look, at how, that. look how deep this wheel is. So this is a 4P08 wheel from 4Play, as you can see. This is what they call their black face with gloss tinted clear coat. So what that is, is come hither, come closer, come closer. So this is a gloss black, as you can see, gloss black on the windows, the edge of the wheel, but on the spokes, it's like this dark gunmetal brushed look, which is really cool because first of all, it's a two-tone finish. Second of all, I like having two tones like this versus an all black wheel because when you have an all black wheel like this on a car, especially in photos, you kind of lose all the details. It looks like a black void, but when you have a little contrast like this, you keep all the details, but still look very sporty. Big center cap, four play in red here for a little detail, just a little contrast pop. You have hardware running along all the edges. I think this, it looks like these hardware are just for, just for looks. I don't think they're actually holding anything on. They just, it's a one piece wheel. Well, with a negative 44 offset, so this is super concave, guys. Here's another shot of the concavity, so look at this. Whoa, how deep is that? That's so deep. That's what she says, ah. All right, so while Will is cleaning the Model X, we are actually working on another Tesla here. This is Spectra Photosync IRD55. We haven't done this color yet, or not this color. We haven't done this shade yet. This is the first time we're doing this shade. So this is great if you want a little bit darker than the 70 that is out, but you still want it pretty clear. Uh, so this is kind of in between, between the 75 or the 70 and the 30. So as you can tell, you see right in, no problems at all. And this is what the back window looks like in case you're curious. So again, you can see right in, no issues. Watching a GLE 63 and I noticed something on here that I wanna show you guys, just like a, as an FYI thing. Just for your knowledge, if you are getting clear bra. All right guys, so if you're getting clear bra and you're gonna look at people's work to make sure it looks good, you wanna look for, there's certain red flags you wanna look for. Typically around these edges here, if it's done improperly, you'll see scratches and cuts. And then if you look here, you'll see also a cut as well. This is a partial kit. I can tell right now. This is a partial kit that probably ran from here to here. And I can know this because there's a cut right there. Boom. And even here, you can see on this fender here, see this line? There's no clear bra on here, guys. The clear bra is off, but this is in the paint. So whoever installed this clear bra cut through the paint. It's even on the bumper, too, if you guys can look and see. 
it's right here and it runs see that white line it just runs all the way through the fitment isn't even good if they're gonna cut it at least make the fitment good so this whole car just got paint corrected by will can you see how much this paint pops now look at that reflection now that we're done with this, we're going to add the satin guard film on top and then finish it up with the ceramic coating and then move on to the next step of the project. Man, now that the McLaren is out of the showroom, the Mustang got sold, so it's out of the showroom. I'm really going to miss those cars. For a little bit, but now we got this. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog today. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join the EBS crew so we can take care of you if you need anything that we can do. Guys, like, rate, comment down below what you want to see more of, and turn on the notification bell. You know that ding, ding, ding. Turn that on so you can be notified whenever the next vlog comes out, which will be tomorrow. But until then, I will see you guys later. Peace.